Hello everyone. I just wanted to do a follow-up video to my streaming your PS4 through your PC uh, without using a capture card video. One of the big issues that you'll that you're likely to encounter with all of that is audio and getting your audio to work properly. You want to make sure that the audio from your PS4 is being captured through Streamlabs. You want to make sure that your audio, your voice is captured in Streamlabs and you want to make sure that you're able to communicate with anyone over the PS4's party program as well. So first off I just want to make the suggestion that you take your headset and connect it to your PC. If you connect your headset to your PS4 whether it's USB or Bluetooth your PS4 will likely not stream audio through remote play to your computer so your computer won't pick up on any game sounds so just save yourself trouble right now connect your headset to your PC now if your headset has a built-in microphone uh, you can use that in order to talk to your stream so you can use that to be uh, picked up by Streamlabs you can also use it to communicate to others on the PS4 if you have a dedicated streaming mic like I have, and you already have it added as a source, you can also use it. The instructions are the same. You just have to add a different microphone. But let's have a look at Streamlabs, and let's go through some of the settings to get this all set up. So this is my current Streamlabs setup, just for this brief demo. But we currently have our middle monitor captured. We have the webcam video captured, so that's just me up in the corner. And we have my microphone. This is my streaming mic that's being picked up right now. We can see my audio leveler over on the right. I've already adjusted the gain filters to get it to a pretty good level for me. Let's say we want to add a mic in order to talk to our stream and talk to others on the PS4. We want to use this microphone. What we'll do just to start off is we want to add a new source to our current scene. So we will click on the plus sign and we will go to audio input capture and add source. We want to add a new source and we're just going to label it headset mic. Headset mic. Now we need to choose in the drop down which microphone we're going to be using. In this case, I'm going to be using the headset microphone, and I want to choose the one that corresponds to my headset. Uh, your headset is probably going to be labeled differently, but just choose the mic that corresponds to it. We're going to click Done, and you're going to see a new audio leveler over on the right for headset mic. You'll notice there are no audio volumes currently showing, and that's because I have a hard mute button on my headset. I currently have it muted. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off my streaming mic and I'm just going to switch it over to the headset mic for the rest of this demo. So I've now unmuted my headset mic and you can see that my stream would be able to pick up on this no problem. So this is how you get your stream to hear your audio as you're talking. But we also want to simplify it for talking to others on the PS4. Maybe we don't have a, a dedicated microphone on our PS4, or maybe this sounds better. Maybe we just want to keep things really simple. Let's set it up so that this microphone works through our PS4, even though it's connected to our PC. The first thing we want to do is we want to launch the Remote Play app. You'll see that I have it up already. We then want to go into our Windows settings. So Windows settings, system, sound, and then at the bottom, app volume and device preferences. And in here, we should see our PS4 remote play app. Our goal is to force the remote play app to recognize this microphone as its input device. So under input, we're going to go to the drop down and we're going to choose the same input that we used for Streamlabs. So Corsair Void Pro for me. There we go. So it's all set. We can now close out of this. 
This is just forcing the Remote Play app to recognize this microphone. Once we open up the Remote Play app again, we want to click the unmute button in the bottom right corner. We'll see the message microphone switch to the microphone on the Remote Play device. That's a good, good sign. Now let's confirm that it's worked. On our PS4, we'll go over to our settings. We'll go down to devices and audio devices. We want to make sure that our input device is set to microphone on remote play device. If you have another microphone plugged into your PS4, it might be showing up in this list. We just want to switch it over to microphone on remote play device if we want to use this mic. We can then go down to adjust microphone level and we can make sure that the microphone is showing up. As I speak, it's showing the audio levels on screen. We can adjust these levels up or down depending on how quiet or loud you are as well. Once that's all set up, you should be good to go. Others on the PS4 should be able to hear you if you join a party. Um, and your stream should be able to hear you as well because your audio levels are showing up in Streamlabs. Now another thing to note is your desktop audio stream uh, audio level is right there as well. I'm just going to move this around and you can hear a bit of the beeping from my PlayStation. If I make this a little bit louder. If your game audio is too loud or maybe your chat is saying that they can't hear you over the music in the game, you can always adjust these sliders to better match the audio that you want. I normally like to make my game audio a little bit lower than my voice, just so that my voice comes in loud and clear uh, and it's not overpowered by the game audio. The only other suggestion I really have is to either go watch VODs of your stream and see how your audio levels are. Um, even as you're setting up, just give yourself a quick record by hitting the record button in the bottom right and just listen to how your audio levels sound. Make sure that your voice is coming through clearly, uh, make any adjustments that you need to before you go on air um, so that you're not relying on other people to correct how you sound. That's basically it for me. If you have any other tips, feel free to leave them in the comments. Otherwise, I just hope that this helps some of you. Uh, I know it can look a little bit daunting at first, but uh, once it's set up, it really does work well. Take care.